aircraft in use, we are going to show you a few of the methods we use to fight crime. Crime waves are not new. We had one in 1914 and we broke it. Here at this school, we teach modern methods of criminal investigation. Come with me and see what our men are doing now. Remember the five points necessary to prove burglary. They are breaking, entering, in the night, the dwelling house of another with intent to commit felony. An ace detective every day. This is the output aimed at by the Hendon Detective School. High priority in a detective's training goes to the identification of suspects with only a description to rely on. In this school, special attention goes to eye, brain and muscle coordination as part of Scotland Yard's master plan for combating the crime wave. This is the way to tackle an armed man. Stick him up! Now, a man rushing at the throat. It looks too easy, but try it. It always works. These implements are in common use amongst coiners. This is a milling tool. If you look at the photographs on the blackboard, they show you the characteristics of counterfeit coin. You'll notice if you feel this one, that the edge is very sharp. It hasn't been finished off. Just test the ringing of the coin. Now test that good one. There's still only one infallible system of identification, fingerprints. The old standby of every fictional detective since Sherlock Holmes, but today, with modern systems of classification, it packs a new punch. No two imprints in the world are alike. Men's features may be almost identical, as in this trio. But once Scotland Yard has their prints, facial resemblance doesn't mean a thing. Infrared photography has made a forger's life harder than it used to be. The ray picks out the original lettering on documents, no matter how skillfully they have been altered. Ultraviolet rays are also part of modern science, adapted by the detective in his war on the forger. You'll think you've rubbed out the initials till the ray brings them back into the picture. Ballistics are now an everyday part of the anti-crime routine. A fired bullet identifies the weapon from which it was discharged. It carries its own telltale marks, which are disclosed to a trained eye under the comparison microscope. Official figures say 100,000 firearms are illegally held in this country. Public safety demands that they should be handed in to the police at once. Do it now, and there'll be no questions asked. Every gun engraves upon its bullet its distinctive clue to detection. Mary of Hendon is the world's most murdered model. In every test case, she is planted in obscure spots with well-hidden clues. The student detectives are brought in to collect the evidence under the experienced eye of a detective inspector. Here's how it goes. You can, will you send it for the doctor right away? And I want a photographer. And send a message to the superintendent. And I want some ropes around here with some stakes so I can rip all the air off. Very good. The discovery of the footprint of the man who struck poor Mary down calls for the taking of a plaster cast. After an initial spraying, plaster of Paris is poured into the depression. Left to harden, it picks up every detail of the murderer's shoe. Physicist, analyst, pathologist, serologist and the expert in ballistics allied with the 24-hour thoroughness of the detective. These are some of the odds against the lawbreaker. Detective Superintendent Rundle puts it this way. Training and good perception. 
backed by modern science, put us one ahead of the criminal.